Hey, what I've got here is um, a photo that I took in Las Vegas back on July 9th, uh, 2013. And the reason I took it outside my apartment complex was just to show the smoke. We had a big fire up in the mountains and I wanted to show the smoke that was starting to drift over Las Vegas. And it was a really strange color, orange. Uh, pretty cool color and I thought wow this is kind of neat it's blocking out the Sun and um, acting as a filter and I thought that was pretty cool that's the only reason I took a picture was that uh, it actually uh, acted as a filter and I thought this is a good way of um, showing the color of the of the smoke so uh, what I did though is just recently after I uh, saw just today or was it yesterday uh, yesterday I saw a uh, a planet like object next to the Sun and I've seen this before um, back in October of last year and I took a picture and put it on YouTube also but what I didn't really realize here was if you take the zoom and you zoom in on the Sun and I'm gonna do that here I'm gonna keep zooming keep zooming keep zooming and I if you look real close you're gonna see I don't know if you can tell just by the camera this is the Sun and right to the bottom left is a circular object and it's I don't know if you can tell by looking but here's the Sun and then here's this object right here definitely a circle uh, I'm just wondering if uh, if I do the a little bit of bright brightness and um, oh there we go I took the brightness down and the contrast there we go now you can see something even better <laughs> and I didn't even notice the uh, other two objects um, you've got the Sun and then this circular object which if you just look at it with your eyes it you can't even tell it's there because the Sun's so bright and now that we've done the contrast and the brightness not only do you see this object here but two more little objects and you know I've been seeing this now and now I've been watching YouTube which I never used to watch but now I'm watching it closely because uh, I am interested in um, in the theory that a planet like system comes through our system every so often I mean uh, it's a pretty wild theory but uh, when it comes to us having cataclysms on a cyclical basis uh, it sure makes sense that uh, depending on where every object in our solar system and then the one the visiting solar system are depending on where each object is at that point in time that will determine what happens on the planet earth so there are times when this system maybe comes through cyclically and does nothing because all the planets, moons and everything are in such a position that nothing affects anything. Then there's other times where it comes through and what happens is they are uh, in such a way that when they arrive uh, cause 
causes cataclysms and wreaks havoc on our planet and maybe other planets in our solar system too. And if you look at the uh, the uh, asteroid belt, uh, many theorists, many scientists believe that that was a planet at one time that was hit by either a, a, a another planet or, or another moon of a planet and destroyed and caused the asteroid belt. Well, that sure uh, sounds uh, like a good theory if you have this system coming through on a cyclical basis. And just looking at this picture uh, with the sun, this object, and then these two objects, it sure makes you wonder. I mean, I may be totally off base, but um, you know, you have to keep an open mind. And, and if you look on YouTube, I'm sure people can Photoshop things and people like to, to create hoaxes. But when I walk out on my patio or I walk outside and I actually see an object next to the sun, uh, if you look at my other videos that I have on YouTube, I think I only have four or five, but they each show uh, objects next to the sun just recently within the last two years and before that I never paid attention to any of this but now other people all around the world are seeing this too and uh, I did study Sumerian uh, history uh, and it does make sense of what they said in their ancient history about a planet uh, system coming through every now and then it does sound plausible I mean, very plausible. I just wanted you to see this and uh, post your comments, um, good or bad, I don't care. Just uh, please keep an open mind and, and uh, just tell me what you think. Thanks a lot.